Floating offshore platforms such as FPSO and FLNG are used to treat the hydrocarbon extracted from undersea reservoirs. Such platforms are subjected to marine currents and waves that influence the hydrodynamic and mass transfer in onboard process equipment such as um, bubble current reactors. In oil and gas processing, bubble current reactors are used in hydrotreating, hydrocracking, and fissure trough synthesis. This project is on the hydrodynamics of bubble current reactors in floating conditions. Uh, with emphasis on the dynamics of individual bubbles. For the experimental phase of the project, I installed a cylindrical column associated with uh, light sources and high-speed video camera on a hexapod ship motion simulator allowed for 6 degrees of radial motion to simulate FPSO motion. We were to study the effect of um, different motions on the bubble dynamics, I studied uh, the bubble wall interaction in the static incline column. In this context, especially the uh, ellipsoidal bubble flow is of interest. This flow regime applies for the intermediate size bubbles, which are prevalent in the most of industrial applications. Mm, the effect of column inclination on the bubble shape, three components of um, bubble velocity, and also details of bubble oscillations in terms of frequency and amplitude of the rising trajectory are investigated. For single bubble simulation, I, I use the volume of flow approach. Uh, there are two issues in this simulation. Uh, first, if the balance between the pressure gradient and the surface tension force is not achieved, the surface tension uh, can contribute to the source term for vorticity generation. Different models for surface tension um, in terms of uh, the height function and continuous surface tension and the stress surface tension models are needed to be uh, checked to find the best model for this case. In the next step, to simulate the reactor subjected to uh, tilt and oscillation, uh, I will use the moving reference frame technique. And uh, the equation of motion uh, needs to be modified to include the Coriolis and centrifugal acceleration technique.